Eight. Monday. It's Eleven. No. It's ten. Forty-six. Fifty-six. Let me look at my phone. It is currently ten. Fifty. Um, that is not the correct temperature. The sun's been up for a while. It is no longer two degrees out. <laughs> Weather Channel doesn't like to update. Yeah, I'm sorry. Couldn't keep my shirt on any longer. I did go to the bakery. That's what that crunch crunch was. I was taking care of the baggie that the Cosbro did come in. Yeah, it's currently six outside, but the sun has been glaring so much. It's actually really warm in the apartment. I'm basically sitting here. I haven't done anything on the vlog yet for the one that you guys have already watched. Because I'm going to be doing it here in a, like in a little bit. I'm trying to get through all the plays. I'm doing, since I wasn't playing, obviously she saw it yesterday, um, is ODK, which is offense, defense, special teams, kick. Then I'm doing yard line. And then huddle fills in the, oh, I had to do down. And then yard line. That took me a little bit to figure out because I didn't realize it was always from the offense's perspective. I thought it was objective to the field. So I might have to go through and like clear the GNL, GNL gain loss column so that and then go through and manually enter everything back in so that it correctly calculates that. First time ever doing this. Thankfully, Marcus explained that. But anyways, so that's what I've been doing. Like I said, it's 10.52 right now. I've been, and yeah, I'm just sitting here. That's not much. I'm gonna do the vlog, and then I'm gonna go back through the huddle film and then see which ones qualify as, like if Aaron got a good shot from yesterday, then I'm gonna look for that shot on huddle. Um, this cameraman for the huddle filming. To be fair, it was very nice when trying to do the stats that before every play, he looks at the down markers. Um, I'm used to box film a little higher up. Um, but then again, in the States, we build gigantic stadiums that are replacements to other shortcomings. Look at you, Texas. To be fair, they do have games that require that much seating, but I've seen some in the Pacific Northwest that are big that I'm like, why is this school garnering that much? I just figure I'd tell that to you guys, figure out what's going on. We'll talk later once I'm covered again, but the shirt was itchy, 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 itchy. And I might take some paracetamol just to, it's not achy. It's like, I don't know what to do. Cause it's like, it's not, This is what happens when one of the nerves decides. All right, we're gonna be disgusting here. We're gonna be real. So I've got the skin and obviously there's a cut through the skin and there's a cut down into some muscles and nerves. Well, every so often, stupid son, um, my brain or one of the nerves in my shoulder wakes up is what I call it. Sometimes they come in like an earthquake and then aftershocks. Uh, but I can't do anything because even if I can somehow feel it on the surface, it's not on the surface. I can't do anything because that part of the skin is still numb. Yeah, I know it's like super red and yeah, I'm doing what I can to cover it right now. But yeah, so that's that. I will chat with you guys later. Y'all, you guys, I'm not being sexist. It's just what I say, you guys. <laughs> um, I'm gonna finish up this stuff at least, save or stop the editing and save and then do my stuff and then come back and find out highlights because I'll have a better idea of what Aaron filmed. Because I'm used to looking at highlights that way than I am on Huddle, but the, this video is clear. I just need, mm, and I can put a video together afterwards with my clips knowing the project that I have that I put into the vlog and what clips are good, then I can put those clips back in with maybe the clips from Huddle and do a different look. Like one of our good catches was not actually on next to Aaron. It was on the other side. And I was like, right, but maybe Aaron got a good. Uh, I do remember yesterday, if you guys saw it, I was hoping I saw it couple other people saw different things in the play because football, a lot goes on. And so I, uh, I saw like a clear interception opportunity for our DBs, but our DBs ran into each other. 
And everyone says like, oh my God, I can't believe our guys ran into each other. And I'm like, the only reason they, I mean, they would have ran into each other regardless, but they would have had, if they wouldn't have run into each other, one of them would have gotten an interception because two of the Crusaders receivers ran into each other. <laughs> it was like the outside receiver was doing a five and in, the <laughs> inside receiver was doing a five and out. And the DBs didn't switch, you know, because receivers coming up and doing this. And the DBs, usually if you're like deep and deep, then you wait for them, then you just you pass them off to each other so you don't have to cross. At least that's what it looked like. I have I can I haven't seen the film. I don't even know what play it took place on here to see it. I, you'd think going through most of the huddle film four times already, I'd seen it, but I wasn't looking for it. I was looking for down and distance. So I really only needed to look at, is this offense? Do I see Robin? Do I see Maurice? Do I see Yoss? Do I see, you know, who do I see on the play? You know, do I see our punter? Like that's, that's really what I was doing for ODK. And then down, I was just basically like, oh, look, the down marker. One, two, three, you know, and I was just like scrolling through. So I haven't looked at fully every play. I'm gonna be home a lot today, so it's probably not gonna be much. It's much more interesting for me than it'll be for you guys, but at least you get me talking about this stuff. I gotta say, I've never spent so long looking at the same game film. <laughs> like, there have been times where I've gone like, two hours in a row of watching, you know, scout film, but like, I don't even think I spent that long looking at, um, when I was doing game film for, uh, like, the music video I did for the Cobras. I think that video took me four hours to make, so far. I mean, I came back from the bakery at like nine, it's now three o'clock. And then I'm gonna go back and watch more game film, but I need to get a visual break. Or I'm going to drive myself crazy with wives. One of the things I asked Willie yesterday was, you know, I want to ask when he had his leg injury how he got through it. Well, first of all, he was able to stay busy because he still was a college student at the same time. Um, and since it was part of his leg, he had not only the brace, but like, significant physical therapy afterwards. Mark, I'm gonna, I offered also to go through and put down what kind of play it was. Cause like, you know, when you've got like, first down, first down, second down, third down, you know, you gotta put down that one of them was a penalty. <laughs> or, you know, what was the result, dead ball. I gotta go through and take off that, put on that stuff. Um, there's other steps probably to put in, but I could get carried away with all of that. Do we have any mail? No. I'm taking all the bottles in as I do on Mondays. I will see you. I'm wearing one of Aaron's shirts because it's a it's a crappy shirt. And if I leak all over it, oh like I have been. Uh, I forgot exactly how much I need to buy today. And I'm moving the thing back and forth between arms because uh, I keep forgetting that. Uh, yeah, because. I brought one tiny little bag. And I'm like, I need cereal, I need coffee, I need this, I need milk. And like, ah, uh, those days I wish Aaron was here. But he's, I, how far away is he? How far away is Eindhoven? Aaron is 70 miles away. Yeah. Mondays and Fridays, he is basically in Eugene. But yeah, I will. See you guys here in a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm actually struggling with this because this is a lot heavier than I thought and I'm wondering. And I'm like, mm. yeah, are we? Are we? Uh, uh, not a day. Oh, it's worse. Sorry guys, I gotta get this off. Uh. It's that one hole that it was yesterday that Aaron noticed. Probably the biggest of all the holes. <laughs> it's front and center for you guys right now. It looks like a tear in the fabric of space. There's a lot of bruising around it. Yeah, I'm a little worried. And just like I said yesterday, got the video done. Um, I'm 
was in that mode that I could do anything and did a lot of things I probably shouldn't have with my arm because people are like, oh, you can move your arm? And I'm like, yeah. But by, that, by the time Aaron actually noticed that I was oozing a little bit, it was already well into the game. Uh, picked up some old Amsterdam cheese. Proof had to test the character. Proof. I mean, Kamein is nice. Sometimes I like some old Amsterdam. Picked up some more milk. That's probably gonna have a protein shake. Coffee tomorrow morning. <laughs> Crunch. No, not me farting. I was just pulling against something. It's probably hard apple parches. Yeah, my ananas. I realized it would probably be beneficial if I, you know, picked up some high protein yogurt. 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 That's weird because it's like, you know, it's the. Oh, except for that. Except for that. I'm like, everything in here is in effectively English or American. I mean, to be fair, you know, because like. Y O G H U R T is. Uh, that's how the British spell it. We don't spell it that way. Unless you want to try to make, unless you're a hipster brand and want to make it sound like it's different. It's, prove me wrong in the comments. Anytime I say something wrong, prove me wrong. I know people love to do that. It's the internet these days. I've been having my foray into a Twitter. For those of you that don't follow me, I will put my Twitter handle right here. For those of you that do follow me, I'm not sorry. I'm not posting that stuff to Facebook anymore because one, nobody really notices on Facebook. <laughs> no, nobody notices any of that stuff. Twitter tends to have a better organic algorithm because with Facebook, if one of your friends likes a post, it doesn't necessarily show up with expansiveness. Whereas if someone who has 1,500 followers likes one of your tweets or likes a series of them because they're really appreciative of what you do, because they're a good friend of yours in the autistic community or something, uh, then all of their followers will be kind of notified that you've liked this post and it will show up in their feed. Um, I'm getting that a lot from several of LGBT um, things like DC homos. This is like DC homos like this. Trust me, I was just inundated with glad yesterday. I never really saw glad as a big thing. My moratorium, I guess we'll call it, on uh, Twitter has kept me much away from the gay community, although I will say this much about the gay community. They ain't any different on Twitter. They're just as sour on Facebook and Tumblr as they are on Twitter. They're just sour. I'll get out. You can't, you're just like, one of my tweets even recently was just so fed up and done and over the top that it's like, do you really really have to be doing that. You have to be throwing shade at everything on the internet all the time. And it's just to that point that I'm just like, none of you are happy. You post happy things. Oh, isn't this guy cute? Oh, isn't this the most amazing celebration? But when you actually get down to like, like they share happy things in the theory that maybe if they share happy things, it'll make them happy. But much like I did, in the past, they basically just, well, I guess the term is shit posting. Um, I've seen too many be doing it recently, or they'll be sub Like, I had to figure out what the hell subtweeting was. Aaron told me the definition of it, but I'd never actually seen it, because you can't. I mean, I guess there was that one guy on the Cobras who posted on Facebook a lot, would basically sub book, sub Facebook. Definitely known for his high amounts of uh, asking for a friend, which that's all asking for a friend is. It's basically subtweeting, and that's, and I don't like that term. You know, I've done my fair share 
and I'm just so done and old. I'm so old, I'm so mature and done with it. Anyways, I will check you guys later. We've had a very eventful day of me overstraining myself. If not, I've got to chill. My appointment's on Thursday. And that's my aftercare appointment. And I don't want this thing like super leaking or they're gonna, I don't know. It's not like it was, It's but it's not like it's a freshly leaker. It's not a fresh leaker. While I had the bandages on, there was always a little spot left there. So I hope it's not infected. That's why I'm taking a lot of vitamin C is to help the immune system fight off anything that's in there. I haven't had much food, just had a lot of coffee because I've been editing. So I'm going to have a protein shake, some pineapple and 